We're Haven City Church, a spiritual community that loves Jesus, preaches the gospel, and lives like missionaries in our everyday lives. channel it has been a minute since we have talked hasn't it our last video was of Doug and Lori right before they left to go to Colorado but this video is about getting you caught up from then all the way up until now so I'm going to challenge myself to get through this long list of stuff in four minutes let's see if I can do it so this is what's been going on in our church for the last six months this is before Doug and Lori left so there's a little bit of overlap it'll get you caught up for when we're back on track March 21st, we got to affirm a few more of our members on a Sunday morning. That's when we have people who have attended all three membership classes and they've decided that they want to be part of our church. Also on March 21st, we got to have a baptism. That's when my wife, Zuki, was bapti baptized and also our dear sister in Christ, Carolina. March 25th, my wife began learning guitar and I'm really excited for where she's headed. Adolfo and I worked on the office wall, so behind this camera, there's no one there, but there's a wall there. So I'm super thankful to Adolfo uh, for doing that with me. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I feel like I grew as an assistant to someone. Then a brother in our church, Christian, his son, Joe, was finally baptized March 28th. Now we all packed in real tight that day. I, I just remember being reminded of how much we need a building. If you've been on this channel long enough, you or, or if you're a part of our church, you probably know we desperately, desperately need a building. There, there was times where you could hardly walk it was so crowded. And after the baptism, we had lunch and celebrated. And this was also more of a sending off party for Doug and Lori as well, who were leaving the next day. Now, after the baptism and the lunch, a couple of leaders took some kids to the bowling alley down the street. And this bowling alley is awesome. It's a really old building, super historic. And we just had the best time taking shot after shot after shot. There was a lot of misses that day, but hey, we had a ton of fun. Okay, so now we're in April. Marvin, who you guys probably know from Sunday mornings, who does the, the greeting and the announcements, he finally got a house. Since I've known him, he's been praying for a house. And let me tell you, his house is beautiful. April 15th, this is such a huge day, you guys. We got AC installed into this building. Some of you remember, last year we did not have AC in this building. Because of COVID, New Century School, where we hold our Sunday mornings, was shut down. So when things began to open up a little bit more, we were back here in the Compassion Center. And on some of the live streams, you can just see me sweating as I'm leading worship. Okay, so now we're into May, and believe it or not, there's still a ton to go, so I gotta hurry. May 11th, because my wife had been learning guitar, along with Sister Claudia in the church, and they finally led worship for the Spanish Inductive Bible Study that we've been having on Tuesday nights. May 16th, we had another baptism. And once again, we all packed into this room and it was super tight, but at least we had AC this time, so it was really nice. May 18th, we got a truck and Adolfo ever so lovingly dubbed it White Lightning. May 23rd, as a church after service on Sunday, we got to go to Sky Zone. Uh, I saw kids jumping up and down, doing backflips. I saw Tony going crazy. I saw Hudson going crazy. I saw Aiden going crazy. But starting May 23rd, we finally got to see people from other churches coming to a Haven City Church hosted event. Okay, here we are on June 1st. Adolfo got to go on a vacation to California to revisit his family. June 4th was cool for me. I got to drive White, white Lightning. June 6th, we got to go on a church hike after service. I was shocked with how loud the cicadas were. We just got to hang out. June 17th, we got to host another game night here in the Compassion Center. I could tell people were really excited. June 27th, Derek got a car. So that is a huge answer to prayer. Okay, we're finally in July. July 2nd, we got to have a campfire and barbecue at Scott's house. And it was just really awesome. I want to do that more. July 4th, another awesome Sunday. We actually got locked out of the church building. For some reason, Josh's key wasn't working. But as usual, God knew better. We got to have church 
in the Compassion Center with the Spanish congregation. After that, we all went to Patterson Park and we played this awesome game of soccer. I'm still sore almost two weeks later. Afterwards, we went to Josh's house. We all just got to hang out together. After that, we went up to Josh's roof and we all got to watch the fireworks going off. And finally, July 11th, we had a beach day. And once again, it was so much fun. I got to hang out with my friends at the beach, play a little bit of volleyball. So, so sweet. So that's it, that's the update. That's what's been going on in our church all the way back since February. Obviously, I can't give everything, otherwise this video would be an hour long. I say all this to say our church is still super young. If you guys like what you see both on this YouTube channel and if you like what you see God doing in our church, I just ask that you continue to support. We need your prayers, we need your financial contributions, and that is all. God bless.